Okay, this is going to be a series of lessons on bass improvisation. And um, in order to get to where we want to go, we got to start at the beginning. And uh, in this series of lessons, we're going to start at the 12th fret on the A string. Uh, so if you got a four or five string bass, it's all the same. It's just more range on a five string bass, but the patterns, the notes, everything's going to be the same. So mainly just focus on this uh, one note right here at the 12th fret. It's same as the open A, the 12th fret is an A. All right. It's right here. Open A. There's your 12th fret. And so uh, at this point, we're just going to try to feel something, okay? Feel a pulse, rhythm. Okay, and we're just going to play that note right like this. Feel some kind of a rhythm. So you're improvising. This is what you're choosing to play. It's a good starting spot. You're trying to feel the pulse. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, eighth notes, one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and shuffle. Play it with whatever finger feels comfortable to you. Okay, so that's an A at the 12th fret. But we need another note. So we're going to add some other notes, okay? So we're going to add one note and I'm going to show it with this uh, white marker. On the next, on a D string at the 10th fret. And the important thing to note about all this whole series of lessons here is that we're going to be thinking two frets apart. We're going to be thinking two frets apart. Okay? So that just happens to be a C. C, A, A, C. All right, now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to try to feel a little pulse, a little rhythm, a little time, a little groove. And we're just going to use these two notes, okay? Two, ready, play. So you can use uh, first finger and the fourth finger, or you can use uh, first and the third. It's up to you. You can use the uh, second and the fourth, but that's not really practical. 
I'm gonna probably tend to go one three. All right, so we got two notes now. You can't go wrong with these two notes. We don't. We like the notes. We like the way they sound. And now we kind of start to know what key we might be in. Okay, what key we might be in. We might be in. Uh, we might be in A minor, or we might be in C. All right, because we got a C and an A. But let's not concern ourselves with that right now. We're just gonna build some patterns and some notes. You could solo with these two notes. Most important thing is to feel the pulse. Two, three, four. One. Can you feel that pulse? All right. All right, but after a while, we're going to want to have more notes than just those two notes. So um, what I want to do next is I want to add one note up and one note down. Okay. And for those notes, we're just going to use these uh, little magnets here. All right, so this is our low note. This is our higher note. So one note up from there is that right there. This is our lower note, so one note down from there is that right there. So now we got four notes. Now remember I said that we're going to always use at least at this stage, we're gonna always use notes that are a whole step apart, two frets, okay? Each fret is a half step, and so two frets is a whole step. So we got an A, we got a C, we're at the 12th fret of the A string, we're at the 10th fret of the D string, now we're adding one step higher than the C, which just happens to be at the 12th fret of the D string, 